Today we presented data uh, in non-muscle invasive bladder cancer looking at a urinary biomarker, in particular the urine microbiome, uh, as, a, as a predictor of response to BCG immune therapy in, um, in non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. So uh, the background is really that BCG is the standard of care in this disease, and, uh, but what we know is that up to 50% of patients will have recurrence of bladder tumors um, or progression to invasive disease within the first five years or so. And so it's important for us to both identify potential predictive biomarkers for response to BCG immune therapy, which is the standard of care in that setting, um, as well as to understand potential new mechanisms of resistance to BCG therapy so that we might circumvent that with uh, other approaches. So in our study, we collected urine samples from patients with newly diagnosed non-muscle invasive bladder cancer, and we co collected urine at baseline as well as up to 10 different time points throughout their therapy, all the way out to two years. And so the data that I presented today was specifically looking at the composition of the urine microbiome at baseline, so the samples collected prior to BCG therapy. What we found was that when we analyzed by 16S sequencing, we see global differences in the composition of the urine microbiome um, in patients that had recurrence with a median follow-up of six months after uh, BCG therapy compared with those that did not recur. And so uh, I think to, it's really important first to, uh, to explain that the, uh, which is not always evident to, to many people even in the field, that the, the urine actually contains uh, a healthy microbiome that's present even in patients without active urinary infection. And so that's the basis of which uh, we started to look at this therapy. And this was really pioneered by others uh, in non-cancer related studies where this microbiome in the urine was, ha had been identified over the past several years. And so in our study, the, logically, we felt that it may impact the response to immunotherapy given that it's pr uh, immune therapy is given locally within the bladder and that it may have a local if, and possibly even a systemic effect on the immune response. It's been clear from other studies in um, the gut microbiome that the gut microbiome can influence the immune response in advanced cancers like melanoma. Uh, this study really addressed the question of whether at an earlier stage the microbiome in the urine can actually impact the efficacy of BCG. Uh, and so I think we, we saw global differences in the groups of responders and non-responders. We also saw some specific differences at the phyla level, uh, including uh, the, pre the greater abundance of, uh, of uh, firmicutes in patients who did not respond and greater abundance of proteobacteria in patients who did respond. So really uh, some bacteria that may influence both negatively and positively the response to BCG. So where we go from here, we need to do a lot more work on investigating uh, the, at the species level the differences in these groups. We also have expanded this database. So our uh, first pilot study included 31 patients. Uh, we're now closer to 60 and we uh, are working on uh, collaborating with other institutions to increase the number of samples in this uh, study. And then uh, we also are interested in looking in preclinical models in germ-free mice on whether or not these specific bacteria can be shown to have a causative role in impacting the immune response to bladder cancer.